Now what I need to do is I need to cut a piece of this one inch pipe off so that I can weld it right here onto this piece. Make a weld right here. This right here is the protection shield for my fuel line that's going to go in. So I don't want this to ever corrode away. Um, that would not be good having my fuel line corrode away so I have this protection guard that's going to completely seal it from the exhaust. And I'll place that inside of that. Please go in. Okay. Thank you. So I just need to cut a small piece off. And how I'm doing this is I'll set this piece right here, line it up with all the line marks that I have. And then what I did is I placed this on the side so you can see it a little better. What I did is I placed this piece of one inch pipe once I have it all lined up. And I got my little score knife or score pen and I just scored the edge right here. Because that's where it needs to line up when I go to weld it. And I have to cut it right there, weld it on, and then set this piece over it. The only way that I can set this piece over it is have to push this all the way over to the side, slide it down, and then push it over to where it needs to be lined up at. Um, and by cutting that piece just perfectly perfect so it lines up with the edge right here, that gives me enough room to push this piece over, slide it down, and then slide it back over and put my weld on. Alright. Get these safety glasses. using my little handy dandy Dremel tool to do the cutting. Uh, this is a pretty sweet little machine. Works very well. It has this really really thin cutting disc. Um, so, let's see. Came unplugged. So you can see what I'm doing. So I'm cutting a groove in it all the way around, following the line so I can get pretty clean cut, cut. Since I don't have a chop saw, this is what I'm doing. So I'm just slowly grooving it all the way around um, so I can cut through it nice and straight. If you look at the tape measure when I have this up here, line it up with the one inch mark, and you can see we're at about nine sixteenths. So, doesn't really have to be exact, just good enough so that I can get a weld on it. Maybe a, kind of a little tough bigger to weld, but. Test fitted it and goes on pretty well. 
good enough for what I need, so if I have to grind it down once it's welded on, then that's what I'll do, just so it fits in there, but right now I have it lifted up like that. Seems like it'll work pretty well. Do that and then slide it in, so. Alright, so got that piece done. What I'm going to do, once this piece is welded on, I'm going to cut a piece of this quarter inch pipe off. Not, I'm going to cut it off past the threads so that I can weld it without damaging the threads. Um, and then I'm going to weld it on inside of there. I'm actually going to drill a hole through this piece right here, um, the same diameter as the outside of this pipe. It's a quarter inch. should be um, measure about a half of an inch total, pretty close to that. Yeah, we're sitting just right at a half of an inch, so I'll have to drill a half inch hole through there. Um, through this piece right here. Um, and I'll do it once this is welded on. Um, and then once that hole is drilled, this piece is going to be sitting up through here. And I'll weld it onto the inside of this piece right here. So that I'll have my fuel line and it's everything will be sealed off good, so I'm protected. So that's what I'll be doing. Well, I uh, just figured out that the last couple of minutes that I spent explaining this was for naught. Um, this camera's different than mine, so I thought it was recording, but it wasn't. This is Ty's dad, and uh, just finished this much of the project and figured I'd better do him a favor while he's at work and do a little bit of filming. But of gone ahead and welded this outer housing down to the, the plate. Got a pretty nice uh, bead all the way around and uh, sealed it real well. Same with this plate on the inner uh, section. And if you look, if I can show it right uh, the angle is, you can see that it's angled so that uh, this drain port, of course this whole thing will be upside down, but this this will be the drain pipe and it'll be the, the lowest uh, corner, the higher corner being right here. So it's uh, just a uh, very mild slope or taper. And this is the inlet here. Uh, I welded a up for them and that's so it's all sealed that's uh, more or less a heat shield there'll be a pipe that will be it will be drilling and tapping a, a hole right there uh, for a pipe and so uh, that's, that's it for now and kind of an idea and then I'll be taking this plate here and just welding it on on top so that's it for now hey everybody it's a beautiful day today here in the morning probably about 8 30 or so just enjoying the nice day out here today it's a little bit chilly outside but got some good snow on the mountains. And I have my container mostly welded together now. I'll show you what it looks like after everything's on. Well, the boxes, are, the two boxes are welded together. That's the inlet for the gas 
I'm going to be drilling a hole right there and placing a uh, piece of quarter inch pipe and welding it in there. That was just to shield it, to protect it from the exhaust so that it lasts longer. And then I just, just blank all the rest of the way around. I'm going to be drilling some holes here and uh, putting welding the exhaust inlet and outlet pipes on. And one thing I wanted to show you here is, uh, let's see if I can get you in this into some better light. You can look down in this container and you can see, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it tapers. Um, so basically, this end right over here is at the lowest point, and this part over here is at the highest point. And I did that so that the gas will drain out properly when I shut my um, car off. I'll have a uh, little valve in there that'll open up and drain the fuel out so that it's not vaporizing while my car's off, and it'll recirculate it back into the gas tank. Um, Oh, sorry, I was showing you the wrong side. The, uh, there we go. Now you can kind of see it taper. That little dot right there in that corner, that's where my fuel outlets is going to be. Sorry, I pointed to the wrong side. Um, so I'll show you the bottom here. It's just flat on the bottom on this part, it's just the inner piece of tubing that's uh, that the plates angled to let the gas drain but got this welded on there all the way around got a nice weld job all the way around so yeah now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna mark my holes and cut them out for the exhaust inlet and then those will be welded on when I'm at work today um, so that's it for now, guys.